Hello and welcome to Joy's Marketing Automation Show. I went through the GitHub release document regarding Modic 4 and found a bunch of cool features which I would like to show you today. I also discovered three hidden gems which made me really excited about Modic 4. So let's dig in. Let's look at the email builder first. I think this is the biggest achievement of Modic 4. It's the best feature. Let's go to emails. And here, it doesn't matter what you choose, template or segment email. So let's choose a segment email. So yeah, well, like we would do a broadcast. And Modic 4 comes with a couple of templates, but you can find also more templates on my website or create your own. Um, the biggest change is that the builder works a lot better. The previous version had some bugs and all those bugs, at least most of those bugs are already fixed. So you can easily drag and drop whole columns or sections. Actually sections are organized into columns. And you can just drag and drop images here. It will work out of the box. The annoying error with the button is also fixed, so now you can add space. You can delete as well, that didn't work before. And right now you cannot use dynamic content with these blocks. You can use with, with plugins, but not by using one of the default blocks here. The hero block is new as well. And you have also social elements, which is a new feature. In Modic 332, this feature didn't work. So this works again. And you can create beautiful, beautifully looking uh, responsive emails. There is a new template in uh, Modic 4 called Truly Personal. It's created by Alex Hammerschmidt. It's a really great template. So if I go here to Builder, it just looks like regular uh, email. What you would send out from Gmail. And this is really good if you're business, uh, if you are communicating with businesses. Uh, sometimes these emails work a lot better than any fancy uh, emails with, with images in it. Another new thing is that now we have a new um, editor, text editor, and it's a lot more reliable than the previous one. It's really simple, but also has all the features what you need. So you can have the regular features like features like bullets, lists. You can color um, your text or even give background to the to the text if needed. I'm sure it happened to you as well before that you link to a page which doesn't exist. So in Modic 4, you can define your own 404 pages. So you just come here. I defined one here. This is just one of the pages which I created. Of course, this can be also language specific. So you can serve different 404 page based on the language of the visitor if those, lang if those pages are linked. And if the person see would enter um, a URL which doesn't exist, then this custom 404 page comes up. So you can really personalize your uh, modic experience. So the warnings also got a lot better. For example, if you uh, create a segment which is a member of another segment, so you have embedded segments, uh, Matryoshka style, then um, you would get a warning if you are trying to disable a segment which is relevant to another one. So this way you cannot go into situations that you disable a segment and suddenly you don't understand why your campaigns are not working. This other warning is also really cool. So you are trying to save a contact, but you miss a certain field, which is actually required. Then you would immediately get a warning from Modic, even if it's a custom field. So until now, when you were updating, uh, constantly updating lists through an import, it could happen, for example, that you were importing from another CRM where you also saved unsubscribed data. But Modic had already had its own unsubscribed data. So how would you match the two data sets? For example, someone subscribed in your CRM and in Modic, someone unsubscribed already. And this status you were saving in Modic by a custom field. Now you have the opportunity to skip that field so it won't be overwritten by your CRM import. You just have to choose this don't uh, overwrite value if already exists. This was a very much needed modification. I'm sure you also noticed that the colors have changed. So now save and close 
and save are both green and we don't have apply anymore so it's clear for everyone that this one will actually stay on the page and this consistency is through the whole website which is really really cool in Monic 4 you have the opportunity to create templates which work in different builders equally so for example the blank template is working in the legacy builder and the grape.js builder as well and this is managed by the config.json file which contains the list of the builders as an array so you can define here multiple one and if you happen to install another builder besides the grape.js one you can also save that information here and your templates would work out of the box in that builder as well in Mautic 4 there is another huge bug fix which is maybe not known to everyone so before we had an issue that companies were not matched properly. So let's say you had Mari connected up to a CRM system. You would create a new user with an example incorporation. You would push over this contact to your CRM. And if you change something there in the, in the customer data with the same example INC, the data would be fed back. And one more time, this company would be created. Simply, the, the companies were not merged together. And now this is fixed in Modic 4. It finally works. I actually tested it. And in configuration, we have a new field here, actually a new uh, option. So we can, uh, we are able to uh, merge companies based on different custom fields with OR or AND operators. Here, I didn't create multiple custom fields, but you would be, if I would have more uh, key fields, you, I would be able to, uh, merge them together and the same stands for contacts and this is a pretty big deal because you can have multiple keys to merge contacts with and have some kind of and or all lo or logic for that now you can create new reports with modic for example stage names and stages date added can be also included into the contact report which is really cool because you will be able to see when a certain contact was added to a certain stage so if you work with funnels this is a great feature and it was missing very much until now the other addition is a segment report so this is uh, filtered for a contact and you are able to see exactly when a contact joined or uh, left a segment this way you can perfectly overview the whole customer journey okay so this is my favorite feature in modic 4 so let's go to settings and you see the marketplace which is in beta right now so you can't actually install anything but this is something what wordpress does you will be able to add uh any uh modic uh, plugin just by coming here opening it and clicking it in on the install button and maybe this doesn't look really cool at the moment because you can't install anything but because of this the way how Modic handles the vendors, I mean, the code under the hood, it was completely re re rewritten. And it's a huge deal. It's a clear way for Modic to be mainstream very, very soon. Okay, now let's talk about three hidden gems, which I also found in the release notes and I would like to share with you. I really love this improvement here. So in Modic 3, you had some kind of database version. You see in system information, you don't really see the, uh, the info about database. In Modic 4, you have a new tab. So you always be able to see what exactly your database is. And it's really cool because the database uh, version influences way or how we migrating the databases. So you will have a lot less uh, errors when you're trying to move between versions. I think this is an amazing achievement by Dennis Amelink. This PR allows us to create custom events in Modic in a lot easier way. So when you were importing, you could only do um, companies and you could only do contacts because it was hard coded in the system. And this PR here, which got merged to Modic 4, changes that. So you're going to have any type of event in the future. This is really, really cool. Basically, it opens the way for better e-commerce integrations with Modic. I really love this one. So now you can also save HTML in contact profiles. So let's go to custom fields and create a new one. 
So now if I go to a text area, I also have the option to allow HTML. So I can push in directly product information or whatever I want related to that contact and use it in emails or any other place where I want to display this customized information. You just have to turn on allow HTML and there you go. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, just drop it here in the comments. I try to answer as soon as possible. And also please visit, visit my website, joykeller.com. I have a bunch of answers there for you, including ways to upgrade or install Modic 4. The next work will be in two weeks. We're gonna start season two. See you then.